You have to talk about the governor's race tonight as well. Bill Lee besting Carl Dean. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at those numbers, everyone. Bill Lee with 60% of the vote tonight. Carl Dean with 38% of the vote. Lee addressing the crowd after his win. Here's what he had to say. We did it because we feel called to serve and because we have a vision for the future of this extraordinary state that we wanted to share. And that's why we ran a positive campaign from the very beginning to the very last day. Now, Six Like Your Side reporter Bridget Burlow has been live in Nashville all day long, and she was there after Bill Lee's win. Yeah, Bridget, you also heard from Lee. Let's talk about what he's been saying. Lori Preston, yeah, Tennessee officially has a new governor. Can you believe it? Bill Lee, the Republican, defeated his Democratic opponent, Carl Dean, by considerable margins this evening to much of the crowd's pleasure. They were very excited about this roaring and applause for much of the night. But it was a, you know, very close race, but a very happy ending for Bill Lee. He took to the podium behind me here and he gave his victory speech. And he said he has big plans for the state of Tennessee and he also has a vision for how to take this state forward in a number of ways. He says while Tennessee has made significant progress over the years, there's still much work to be done in areas like education, on areas like crime, and education on economic development in places like rural areas in our state that can very much improve in those areas. And much notably during his campaign trail, he said to the people back here that he did not resort to negative political attack ads. And he said that's the kind of leader he's going to be as Tennessee governor, someone who is a unifier and not a divider. Take a listen. Hi, Billy. One of the things you said is you want to be the governor of all Tennesseans, even those who didn't vote for you. Why do you think that's important in this day and age? You know, I think that we have an environment, particularly in the political world, that is more divisive than it ought to be. And I want to be a person who brings people together and doesn't divide. And I want to do that starting from day one. He also took the time to thank and congratulate his opponent, Carl Dean, on his much service to this state over the years on a hard fought race to the finish. He also says his next step moving forward is to build a diverse team of thinkers to strategize and how to address these many issues moving forward. Reporting live in Franklin, Bridget Bjorlo, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Bridget, mm -hmm. thank you so much. It'll be interesting to see what that team of thinkers looks like in the weeks and months to come here. Here it is. Yes. Yep.